Hello, it's spring, the sun is shining, that means it's time to make a new video. So, I was just looking at the statistics on our website, and one of the biggest pages that we have visited is, what is the difference between an ecogenicus system and a standard hot water system, a standard electric? And I hadn't made a video about this for this page, so I just wanted to make a video to clear everything up and make things as easy as possible for you to understand. So let's jump into it. So a standard electric system uses coils to heat up the hot water. So typically you'll have a system that's 300 liters um, and that will use 3.6 kilowatts of electricity to heat up the hot water. And the way that it'll do that, it'll have either one or two elements, which will be coils in your hot water system. Electricity is gonna pass through those coils and heat up the hot water and that's how a standard old electric system works. So they work fine. Um, they're quite good at heating up hot water for your home. But the thing is, they're very inefficient and a lot of energy and electricity is wasted in heating up the coils. It's just not very efficient to do. Your system will typically be 3.6 kilowatts. If it's a little bit bigger, it'll be 4.8 kilowatts. And sometimes if it's smaller, it still might be 3.6 or it might be 2.4, uh, but that is basically how a standard uh, electric resistance hot water system works. Now a heat pump uses a, basically you could call it a reverse cycle air conditioner, but that's what the heat pump is uh, to heat up the hot water. So a heat pump is usually a separate box sitting outside the, uh, the hot water system. It will use the outside air to heat up refrigerant in the uh, heat pump that will flow through the hot water system and it'll flow back into the heat pump to be heated up again. That's how a heat pump hot water system works. It just turns out that using this method, using a heat pump is five times more efficient than heating up an electric hot water system. Uh, when you're using an Ecogenica model, it's five times more efficient. So I do recommend Ecogenica on freehotwater.au. It's by far the biggest system we sell, the main one we sell. And we're actually, I think, the biggest supplier of these systems in New South Wales. And the reason I back it up so much is because it is actually the most efficient system in Australia when you look at its performance. And not just Australia, guys, it's actually rated as the most efficient heat pump hot water system in the world. So it's a very good system at a ridiculously cheap price. Also, the warranty is amazing. It beats Rheem, iStore, Evo Heat. Uh, Chromogen, Smart Lifestyle, it beats all of their warranties for their heat pump system. So this is by far the best heat pump that you can get, in my opinion. That's why we sell this heat pump. So it's, it's quite cheap. It's $33 if your system's an outdoor electric like we talked about. It's just $33 to upgrade to the 215 model. That's suitable for, I would say, four people I would recommend that for, four to five people. Or you can get a 290 liter system for $199 in New South Wales or Victoria. We're mainly based in New South Wales, but I recommend the 290 uh, for up to seven people in your household. So that's the difference between those two systems. That's how they work. Uh, and I'm gonna run into the specifications of how they work as well. But first I want to address a really good question and um, a really good point as well. So with a standard electric hot water system, the vast majority of those are put on off-peak, which is great. Off-peak means you're spending half of the regular tariff to heat up hot water because it just heats up at nighttime when nobody's really using electricity. So electricity companies, they incentivize you to use off-peak and usually your systems are just connected to off-peak. The issue with this is that they're not connected all the time. So if you use your hot water, you're done. Um, heat pumps so when we install heat pumps typically we don't use off peak we don't like to use off peak uh, we put it on continuous and that's because the system can run whenever it needs to to ensure that you always have hot water for your home now you might think well if i'm paying half the price for electricity um, for off peak wouldn't that be cheaper well the answer lies in the like the amazing efficiency of heat pump hot water systems because they're five times cheaper to run um, even if you're halving uh, even if sorry even if you're doubling the amount that you're having to uh, the pay for electricity effectively it's still going to be two and a half times cheaper to run the heat pump to heat up your home than is for an electric hot water system so that's why uh, even if we put your hot water heat pump on off peak it 
it'll still save you a lot of money. So let's run into the specifications. We can see the efficiency of the systems and I can also show you all of the models that we do so you can decide what's best for you and your family. All right, so this is the, this is the document that I wanted to show you. So we provide uh, a couple of different units. I recommend the 215 or the 290 liter units. These are both units which have a split type air conditioner looking thing. So this is the heat pump. And that's because it is far more efficient to have a split type, heat, uh, split type heat pump. It's easier to do maintenance on, but because the fan is so much bigger, it's also going to save you a lot more. Uh, it's a lot more efficient than these small fans that are sitting on top of the unit. So I only really recommend the 260 liter unit when you don't have space, uh, enough space to install a split unit at your home. So these are the specifications of the units. Now the reason the 330 is blacked out is because it's not available yet. But when we uh, do release that unit, just subscribe to this channel. You'll be the first to know. But yeah, again, the 290 is suitable for up to seven. The 215, I would say once you start having more than four people, like four people is perfect. Once you start having more than four, I definitely recommend having a look at the 290 liter unit. I think I mentioned our, uh, our pricing, but just to recap, if your system's outdoor and electric, it's 33 for the 215. It's 199 for the 290 liter unit. Uh, that's uh, in Victoria as well. Um, and for gas, if your gas system is outside, it's 1450 to upgrade the 215 or 1617. Uh, to upgrade the 290. So that's $1,617 if your system's outdoor and gas. And if your system is um, heat, uh, heat pump already or a solar system, then uh, please check out our pricing page. It's freehotwater.au slash ecogenica hyphen pricing. But don't worry, you don't have to remember that. I'll put a link in the comments below. So also please know the 260 is available. We do have units now. Uh, so if we look, the most important thing that we want to look at is the coefficient of performance. And basically, all you need to understand is that, remember when I said before that a standard hot water system uses about 3.6 kilowatts of, um, of energy to heat up the hot water? Well, when we look at the heat pump, it uh, will produce the equivalent of 3.75 kilowatts of heating energy from only 750 watts of uh, input. So that is uh, one fifth of the energy required to produce the equivalent heat output. That's why heat pumps are so efficient. That's why they save you so much money. It's the same case for the 215. And obviously with the 260, you do get good performance, but it is less than the, um, than the split system units. So guys, that's the video. Hopefully that clears up any questions that you have. If you're looking to get a system from us at freehotwater.au, we are the largest supplier of heat pump hot water systems uh, of ecogenica systems in new south wales um, we're rated five stars on google so if you want a trusted installer then look no further uh, you can visit us on freehotwater.au and fill out our inquiry form and one of our reps will get back to you as quickly as possible if you have any questions just leave a comment below on the youtube channel and i'll also try to address that as soon as possible all right have a great Rest of your day. Thank you for watching.